Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to access the data on your microbit and then explore that data using Google Sheets. Now the first thing you're going to do is plug in your microbit and then it will appear as a drive. On that drive you're going to see a file that says My Data. If you double click on that it will open it up in a new tab and this will show you all the data. You can do a small preview of the data but depending on how much data you've got it may not show you all the data. So this is set for this 500 seconds worth of data here, and you've got all the data points. If you hover over it, you can see uh, what each data point is telling you. But if you want to do more with the data, you may need to download it, which is what we're going to continue to talk about. So to download the data, you simply click the download button, and it will ask you to save your data somewhere. I'm just going to save it in downloads. And then once you've down, done that, I can close this so now you're going to import your data into a spreadsheet. Now this is a blank spreadsheet that I've already opened up. I'm going to click File, I'm going to click Import, and then you're going to go find the file that you've just saved and downloaded. Now it is going to ask you about what to do with the data in this file. All you want to do is keep all these settings the same. You just want to detect things automatically and it will import the data fine. And so you should end up with four columns. There's time, temperature, light, and sound. And my micro bit was set up to take a reading roughly every second. So you can see that it is doing it every second. Um, it doesn't start at zero because of course it I pushed this start button 16 seconds after the microbit had been turned on. So that's why there's nothing before 16. So here's all my data, temperature, light, and sound levels. Now, in order to get this into a graph, which then you can do other things with, the easiest thing to do is to select the three columns just by clicking and dragging. I'm selecting all the data in those columns. I'm gonna to go to insert and click on chart and it will start to do something in the background. It's gonna to work to create a chart. Here we go, there is my chart. Uh, I can make this a bit bigger. Now this isn't perfect. You might need to play around with the chart type. So it might auto select different charts. You might have to select something different. So if you click on uh, line if you need to, um, and then you just need to make sure that in the setup, you've got the time on the x-axis, which is down here, and all the other things are on the y-axis. And there we go, there is our data. And now you can look at it in exactly the same way you did on the preview, and I can click on the line, and then I can hover over each data point, and it'll tell me exactly what the value is at each time on the graph. Uh, hopefully that makes sense and any questions please get in touch.